What's happening, everyone? My name is Speed Streak, and welcome back to my Let's Play of 9990 Escape the Notary Games, or known as Nine People, Nine Doors, Nine Hours. Now, it's been a while since I have played this game, and I meant to get back to it a lot sooner. And from where we last left off from the from 999, we were just we we were talking we were introducing ourselves and not, well exchanging a bit of information for ourselves. And what I usually have and what I have been what what I've done from the past couple of Zero Escape episodes is that I've been taking notes to figure out like the well the beginning of the escape rooms and what the information is of why these people are on a uh, abandoned ship and what's going on, why they have bracelets on their hands, and what's with the numbers with the, with the on the doors. So from the last episode, we've learned we've you've gotten the who whose number is each. Like for Santa, his name is actually San or three, and we are number five. But yeah, we discovered that in the last episode, one of the one of the <clears throat> one of the people who is number nine got well, panicked and forced one forced two of the other people to open the door for him. And we realized that we we soon discovered that we have a bomb in everyone in everyone. If you want, if you want to. Check out the beginnings of my let's play of Zero Escape. I'll put the link in the description below for the playlist for you to check out. But yeah, that is really messed up for 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 the well, villain, aka Zero, to do. And not only that, but we have figured out some connections with everyone. Like for one thing, two people. One known as Saint Snake Eyes and the other known as Clover are, are siblings, and the main character Junpei or Jumpy is also friends with another friend, another person in the group called June. And we theorized that, well, we theorized that with this could probably help us figure out who Zero is, as we learned that he like, kidnapped us in almost the exact same. Well, exact same way by knocking us out with that with knockout gas. But yeah, Santa is really right. Zero is messed up, and I don't know why we are forced to play this game. Oops. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I agree. Yeah, we were. Yeah, in the in the. Last part of the previous episode, we were trying to figure out if Zero is working for an organization or, as Santa says, one guy. Serious issues. Oh crap. I thought we were finished with that topic. So wait, how much time has passed? So from when we last left off, we had le less than eight hours, and uh, that's not good. We need to be using our, we need to be using our time wisely in order to figure out a way to escape. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Right. Talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Yeah! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! No, we have to figure out a way to get out. You're really sure you want to just sit around? No! I mean, we need to exp not, only, not only do we need to explore the ship, but we need to figure out... Well... Which doors to use. seven and a half hours left! already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. Crap. Seven and a half hours left. That's not good. Oh, you're <clears throat> right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. 
Also, I think, from my remember, there are, like, multi- If I remember correctly, there are multiple endings in which there's, like, a good ending, a true ending, and a bad ending. From what I've heard. So you're not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. One thing, I don't know if it has to do with which people you choose. I don't really know, but... Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Yeah. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. Hopefully. But... But what? But what? Who's going to go in which door? Right. And this is where it gets a little... Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. Okay. Well, since there's eight of us left, at least we could go like... Four at a time, I guess? Like four for each door? All eight of us can't go in the same door. Right. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Right. Wait. What is it? I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Oh, right. Since nine just went up straight up, betrayed us, and he's dead. There's blood everywhere. Come on now, don't be selfish. I think she's more scared of the blood and the corpse in there. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. And we were doing so well. Hmm. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. So, hmm. Is this the part where it splits into three? Oh, Santa, not you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to chuckle when, he's, when he says Santa. Hey man, I just bought these shoes. Really? If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Seriously? W weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. Yeah, so? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine. I'll go into door five. Okay. So, okay, so... Seven. Door five. So, it looks like both Lotus and Santa are going to door four. So, that makes two. can't go in there alone, though. True. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. Okay, seven, door five. Snake. Let's see here. What? What about Clover? I don't think she would want to go to door five because, well... Don't worry. You'll be fine. Unless they're going to be sticking together. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. Okay. How do you know that? Because I do. Well, at least he's reassuring his sister. That's good. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. Okay, so Clover as well, so that makes three. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> so I'm theorizing that... It could be Ace, which goes to door f five, I guess. So we just need one more person for door five and two more people for door four. There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Oh, yeah. Seven is seven and Snake is two. Right. And if you add Clover's four and my one, the digital route will be five. That's true. Yeah, that's right. Because seven, nine, 
4, which is 13, and 1, 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. Right! 7 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 14. Right. The digital root of 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. Correct Amundo, Santa. Oh, it works perfectly! Yeah! The four of us can go into door 5! Wait. What is it, Seven? What about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Oh, right. Oh, that's right, because we need we need digital root four. Let's see here, June. Okay, Lotus Santa. Eight plus three plus six plus five. We need Okay, eleven, eleven. That's it! Eleven, eleven equals twenty-two. Two plus two is four! It's perfect! It's perfect! We are we got our digital root! Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Right! Eight three six five. What would our digital root be? Four! It's perfect! Man. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So... Right! The digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Awesome! This is perfect! It's 4. Add up our 4 bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Right! Then we can go into door 4. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. Yeah. That went well. So the team assignments will be like this. Okay. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Right. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Right. Are these really the teams I want? Hmm? What? Beyond door five is what remains of the night. Yeah. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Hmm. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. Right. Actually, let me write that down. Examine nine body. June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. No. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? That is a good question. All right, then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. Hmm. That is a good question. So, hmm. Okay, so does this lead to, like, the different endings? Like, we need to examine the ninth baddie, or should we not? That's a good choice. I. Which door? Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. I might be, have to go through multiple Let's Plays of this. <sighs> Actually, let me let me save this very quickly so that way, well, so that way, like when we get back to this area. Actually, well, I don't know if after we've beaten like one part of the game, we can go back and do it again. Or go, or, or in fact, go back to where we left off. I don't know. Let, let me say very quickly. Yes. No. 
I think for the beginning of this Let's Play, well, for, well, for this one, we'll go through door four. Then, when it, then in future Let's Plays, I'll go to I'll go through door five. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. Okay. Door four for now. Well, there is a lot to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Yeah. Looks like Ace and the others are going. Right. Uh. Hmm? Hmm. Now then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Be careful. Yeah. So they have nine seconds. Ooh. Yeah. So horrible. Yeah. What are you doing? We need to hurry. That's right. Snake is is blind. I keep forgetting. Snake, your shoes. I don't think you would care. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Yeah, and not only that, but then you have 81 seconds to get to the other door as fast as you possibly can, or else... Yeah. Sorry, Snake! You die. Let's go! Good luck, everyone. How is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. Bomb. It's just like before. Right. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Yeah. Do you think they're okay? I just hope they get to the other side very soon. Then get to it! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! The they made it through! Stopped. Thank goodness. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Thank goodness. Hey, guys! Are you doing alright over there? Yep, we're fine. That's good. I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? Okay, dead thing. That's gonna be important. The dead is just like the red, but the color is different. Like red, color different. Okay. You know how the red was red? Right, like engaged. Well, the dead is blue. Okay, so it's blue. Huh. Other than that, it's just like the red. Okay. Authenticating is the same too. <laughs> awesome! Thanks. That helps a lot. That's great. Well, we should probably move on now. Yeah. You be careful out there. Roger that. Roger. Now it's our turn. Right. I'll go first. Okay. Boop. Okay. We ready? Ready. Yeah. Sure. Let's go. Right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Clink. Damn. Crap! It's counting down. Doors. Okay, we gotta run. We can't go back. 
There's no well there's no point turning back. We need to hurry and find the device. Right! Hey! Where the hell is the dead? It should be straight ahead. How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! Okay. Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Crap. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? It has to be at the far end. Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It, it won't open. Not that one. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving! Oh. What? There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! I knew it! Hey, how many more seconds do we have? I, I, I forgot to count. How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. Right. I know that, goddammit. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. Hurry. Right there. It's the dead. Get over here. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Come on. We made it. It looks like it stopped. Yeah. There's another door at the end of the hallway. Seems like it. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. Damn it. A keyhole. A keyhole? It has a symbol on it. Isn't that like... What's this mark? It... Oh, mail. Oh, it's mail, okay. No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I saw something. Nope. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. Okay. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. Really? Hmm. Oops. Number similar near stairway. Crap, do we do we forget to get a key? The symbols of the solar system. Oh, okay. Oh, th that's right. The sun. Right. Saturn. Yeah. And Earth. That's right. At least that's what I'm assuming. It's a possibility. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? So it's Mars. Huh. I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? What? Santa? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Okay. Santa looked. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Crap. None of the other doors open. Well, we're stuck. Whoops. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Oh, right. Okay. Maybe it's the room number. B92... B93? Hmm. Wait a minute. So wait, is it because that Mars is in fact the fourth planet 
Yeah, the fourth planet from the sun. Hmm. The door on the left has a B-92. Right. Is it because that B is the symbol for, is, well, the second letter of the alphabet, 9, 13, 4? And the one on the right says B-93. Now B for 5. All right, let's open them. I'll open B-92. Okay, I'll get B-93 then. One, two, two three! three. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Hey, it opened. Both of them? Yeah, it did. Huh. I, uh, I didn't expect that. Nope. Yep. It was so easy. Huh. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Maybe. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Me neither. Oops. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Maybe a key. Let's find it. Okay. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Okay. Uh, oh no, not another escape room place. Hmm. Seek a way out. Okay, here we go. Room 92. Okay. So we've got... Okay, so here we are. Digital roots control of escape. I see. That face looks expensive! I wonder how much we could get for it. Okay. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> so, whoops. Let's see here. What is this? This is kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It could be. It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant like nose. Suck it on a human's brain? Where the hell did that come from? I'm questioning the same thing too. What's your brain made of? Can't say I mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's see here. It's a display case, but there's nothing displayed. How sad. It looks like the drawers are empty too. Okay. Ooh, matches! Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Oh. Yes. I'm fine. That's good. Let me see your forehead. At least he's at least oh. at least at least she's doing it right. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. <laughs> Are you <laughs> worried about me? Yeah. 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 I guess I am. So it, it's sort of like the interactions with Dangarampa. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Yeah? Hmm? How did you end up here? Same thing as everyone. Well, same way as everyone. What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. Right. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. Right. When you woke up, you were on D-Deck. Right. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? Yeah. What? What? Was... I heard getting knocked out. The truth? Really? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? What? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. What? I mean, 
Why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? That's a good question. Why would childhood friends... That's a good question. Well, sort of the same thing happened in Danganronpa. Place like this. That's weird. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? Hmm. You mean like the number of men I've dated? What? <laughs> Do you want to know? <sighs> Don't worry. Only 18. What? <sighs> Time zero. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I see. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Okay. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. Right. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. That's a good question. Why did Zero pick us? Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Hmm. Look what connects the victims. Lead to culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? I think so. Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. Could be? Wait, really? It has to do with a classmate. And who is it? You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Hmm. Oh. Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? Okay, maybe teacher? Or principal? Really? Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. Yeah. No, I can barely remember any of them. Okay. You can barely remember them. That is weird. Yeah, I know. Okay. Whoops. I do not want that to happen. Oh. Forget to I don't want to speed up. Let's see here. How can I Nope. Crap. Did I already forget? Bedroom. 
You probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? My throat's dry, but I think it's because I'm a little nervous right now. Same here. Oh, well, he did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower? Um, whoa. Eh, just kidding. Wait until I get delayed to take it back. I, wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if there's anything. It's a light blue blank with some designs on it. Someone's made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets under the blanket. Nothing exciting. A bed frame! Now we don't have to worry about falling off! I toss and turn when I sleep. She's blushing again. What the hell is she thinking about? I don't know. This is a, a painting? It's a map? We found a map. We found matches and a map. It looks like a map of the ship's interior! Oh, this is a great find! I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. It's now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. Okay. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Pressing S, LS, and A will allow you to see a bird's eye view for that room. This ship is bigger than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Yeah. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. It has to be. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. I think it's more of like a classic style ship, like the Titanic. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Yeah. Do you remember what Zero said? What is it? Right. So I was right. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm. That's a good question. Does boat and Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm. That's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? Do you think this boat is... It has to be the a replica of the Titanic. A replica of the Titanic? It has to be a replica, because I don't think it would be possible... F well, I don't think it would be the actual Titanic, because the, ti the actual Titanic is still... In, well, in the depths. A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Yeah. Who on earth would make something like that? I don't know. Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. <laughs> no way. Do you even know how much money that would take? A lot. No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Yeah. Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Hmm. That's a good point. Use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Yeah, that's a good point. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Yeah. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? Hmm. Good question. Would people ride it? It's the site of the worst accident in history. Yeah. <sighs> Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. Hmm. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Not really. No, they're... Uh, hmm. 
Sorry, but I, I can't really say I believe in that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, what about you? No, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, I do believe in curses. Really? In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Well... What? A curse sank the Titanic. Really? A curse sank the Titanic? What do you mean by that? Because it was originally called uns quote unquote unsinkable, but then it actually did. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. What? Really? Wait a minute. Was there an Egyptian mummy in there? Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. Okay, this I didn't know. Huh, carried priestess Amun-Ra. Which was stolen from a pyramid. Huh. And they say that the mummy had a history. Really? Let me add history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Huh. That, that could be intriguing. Well, it's, isn't that sort of like the curse of King Tut? You've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? Yeah, I have. So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right. <laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. Yeah. It's true. How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. Really? Why is that? Wasn't a normal mummy. Mm. It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. Like, how is it different from a normal mummy? What is so unbelievable about it? Yeah. Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Okay. Pretty? Um... Yes? Okay. But she was a mummy. Yeah. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. <gasps> oh, the way how she was preserved. Okay. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I, I, I don't remember. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax, yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And... Yes, yeah, saponification, but oh. that's not what it was. Really? Not saponification? Saponification. So, what is it? Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Huh. Not wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. Frozen? She was frozen? What? What? That frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Right. Well, all of that water was frozen. How? The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. From discovery to put in the Titanic. Titanic. 
even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. What? Body never melted? That's crazy. <laughs> Is that true? I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. Hmm. I didn't know? Me neither. Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? Uh, th nah, that seems too silly to be true. Oh, I did read in Charlie the Chocolate Factory that Willy Wonka did make ice cream that would never melt. But that's a whole other story. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Hmm. Well, you yeah. well. Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? Ice that doesn't melt? Huh. Even in desert? That's a good question. No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? No, it'd just be water. Hmm. Well, even well, in the desert, it'd just be uh, water, then... Then, it would be... Well... Just... Water vapor. A wooden cupboard! 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 There are cups inside! Surprising no one! Okay. Whoops. Wrong button! Okay, I'll probably look a little bit more in this area, then that'll be all the time I have to take for this video. Ooh, a key! Perfect! Dresser key. It's a dresser! There's nothing on top. This is still a mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on. It's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? Oh. What? Oh, why are you all so quiet all of a sudden? Ah, forget it, Jumpy! Okay. There's nothing inside. The chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. Let's see here. Anything down here? Nope. Bed frame. It's a light! Even if it's heavy. It's light! I like it. I... Once again, wrong button. Okay. It's a light, thanks to what we can see. Okay. Ah! Shumpy, what are you doing? You don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. Okay, so the drawers are empty. Wall. There's square tiles all over it. Hmm. That's the shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when you turn it. The water's coming out. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's a pretty soap on. I used a shower once, so I, I know. Let's see here. Matches, dresser key. So we've got matches and a dresser key. Wrong button again. Wait, uh, yeah. Why don't we go back to the living room? Let's go back. Wait, 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 wait. We haven't looked thoroughly yet. Now let's check the toilet. There's nothing in there. The tank's empty, too. There's not even any water in it. A collection full of partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. There's a shower head. Still dry too. That probably means no one has used it in a long time. Right. Walls covered with square tiles. They all got geometric shapes on them. Okay. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna pause right here because that's gonna be all the time I have to do for this video. Oops. So we haven't found 
Okay, so, okay, okay. So this is the where we are so far, so there were two choices here. Okay, I see. So they do lead to different endings. I see. Okay, so, beginning part is where, where both aligns to that one area. I see, so it is complete different. Okay, so the only part which which is separate is that one right there. Unless we go forward, which would probably be the true ending. But yeah, I'll save right here because once again, that's gonna be all the time I have to take. But yeah, that is really interesting. So we've got a lot more new information regarding if this could probably be the a replica of the Titanic. And it could be possible that it was cur that the Titanic was cursed, but we're not really sure. It could be just be it could just be a story. But at least we're now in separate teams. And that is pretty interesting. Really, really, really interesting. But so we've only got matches and a key so far. And hopefully later on, well hopefully in the next episode we'll see what Lotus and Santa have I found. But once again, this is gonna be all the time I have today for this video, but don't go anywhere without play up more. Zero Escape 999. Look forward to more soon. Stay tuned for more. So thank you buddy so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to super smash that like button. Leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video and don't forget to share a friend if you want to. And be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell today for all the latest content. Once again, thank you buddy so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Speed Streak out.